Indianapolis, Indiana is the location for stop number um, stop number 17, I think is what it was. I don't, I don't remember what number it is, but anyway, we are here today at Indianapolis, Indiana at Lucas Oil Raceway, the old, what actually formerly was known as Indianapolis Raceway Park. Yeah, the old short track, yeah, the short track at Indianapolis that sits right there next to the NHRA drag strip, which is home every year to the NHRA U.S. Nationals on Labor Day weekend. But we are here at the short track that sits next to the drag strip here, as, as today we're here for running of the the Kroger of, of the Kroger 250 at Indianapolis, Indiana, as we're as we're set for 50 laps of action. Here's the starting line for this running event. On the pole is three-time winner, Cole Deaver, and car number three, the GM Goodrich Chevrolet. He'll be alongside Joshua Osborne, two-time winner this season so far, winning this season at Talladega in Milwaukee. Second row has Keith Batson in number one, the New Hampshire winner, and Kev Shearer in 38. Third row has 99, Jesse Turner. Beside him, the Texaco Haviland Ford, car 20, and Kat Batson. She won at Talladega. Fourth row has Seth Cole and the Nestle Crunch Pontiac, car 32. And beside him, the Rosas Discount Stores Buick, number six, of Levi McIntyre, who won his season at Nashville. Fifth row has two of our in-car cameras, Kyle Matthews in 52, the AC Delco Chevrolet, who won in Charlotte and Michigan, and the DuPont Chevrolet car number two of Dylan Young. He has he has yet to win the season so far, but has a, stands a good chance of doing so, maybe before the season's over. Who knows? Next round has the Hickory winner, Charles Sanford in a 08 DeWalt Tool Chevy, and number five, it is Emmanuel Harden, the innkeeper Buick. Next row down has Jessica Sheldon, our third in-car camera, the Budweiser Ford, car number 11, She'll be flanked by by 36, Ryan George. Jess was the winner of the season at the Goodies 300 at Daytona. <clears throat> Next row down has Gene Sanford in 34 and Johnny Gardner in 44. Gardner in a Chevy and Sanford in a Buick. Gene Sanford, that is. Next row down has Sebastian Kukul on the TIC Oldsmobile, car number 8. And beside him will be Nathan Hudson in car 60, the Winn-Dixie Ford. Next row down has car number 9, Austin Clown of the FDP Brake Chevy. And 27, Carter Friesen. Next for now, William Brock in car four, the Kodak Film Chevy, and number 87, James Henry in the Texas Pete Sausage Chevy. Next for now, Chloe Owen at, at number 55, and beside her, number six, number four, number four, number 46, the Polaroid Chevy of Paul Minnick. Next for now, has, has the Magic Stores Skull Bandit, Skull Classic Oldsmobile Car Zero of Jacob Thibodeau, and 72, John Andrews in the Detroit Gasket Oldsmobile. Next row down has Ryan Brommer in the line of parts also Bill Carver number 59. Beside him will be car number 45, the Molly Black Gold Chevrolet of Joshua Michaels. <clears throat> Next row down has the, has the Carolina Ford Norris Ford car 01 of Jackson Haywood and Arthur Zabern in the Delco Voyager Chevrolet car number 03. Next row down, Nathan Orman in 92 in a Stanley Tool Chevy and number 7, Dustin Bullen in a Skull Bandit Buick. <clears throat> Next row down has Mitchell Collins in 40 at the Staff America Oldsmobile. And number one, for, uh, number, or I should say number 20, first eight sports drinks Oldsmobile car uh, car 20 of, of Jeremiah Dwayne is the outside. Next row down, Phil Parker in the Crown Petroleum Fast Fair Oldsmobile. He's a two-time winner season so far. He won at Rockingham in Atlanta. And beside him, the winner at Myrtle Beach Speedway, it is Quentin Moore in the Cheerwine Ford car 21. Next row down, Jacob Sturgeon in 75, the Pooh Country Oldsmobile, and beside him will be car 40, the Purex style Ford of Julius Anderson. And starting shotgun will be, Je will be Justin Dearborn in 15, the AC Delco Chevrolet. <laughs> and number 31, it is Carson Gum in the Channel Lock Tools Oldsmobile. So that's your starting lineup for this running here of the, of the Kroger 250 at Lucas Oil Raceway in Indianapolis, Indiana. This track is a little bit larger than North Wilkesboro. I mean, slightly larger, though. It's .686 miles as compared to .625 at the North Wilkesboro. But it's still a plenty fun short track for uh, the Bush Grand National cars, the Truck Series trucks, as well as um, ARCA cars has raced there recently at this racetrack. So... Let's see what happens here today. So here comes command to fire the engines here for this Kroger 250 at Indianapolis. Forty cars with V6 engines um, roared to life here at this racetrack here.
Field comes off of court field comes off on the pit road. I should say off of pit road and onto the racetrack, I should say. In car games again today will be carried by Kyle Matthews, Dylan Young, and Jessica Shelton. Those three will be carrying our cameras for today for tonight's race. And somebody's about to hit on pit road. It's, I think it's a six car lead by McIntyre. He's about to come on pit road. Apparently, some mechanical problems has already struck the has already struck the rape, the roses to scout this counts for stores Buick of his as the field is about to come off turn number four on the on the start finish line, and the green flag flies for the Kroger 250. We are underway here at Indianapolis. And you're going to see some wall bangers on this racetrack too, without question, because these cars like to run way high. And you're already seeing some cars go way high. Kev Shearer and, and Dylan Young. Osborne went way high as well in the 63 machine, and he has already... Yep, and Yellow Flag's already flown, and it's Chloe Owen in 55, already problems with her in the 55 machine. Quentin Moore's around 21. He's also involved... So that didn't take long for the action to get going at Lucas Oil Raceway. I could about, uh, I should have pretty much known that this was pretty much a track for where basically anything could go wrong. That anything go, went, can go wrong that could go wrong, and that basically was the case for Chloe Owen and for the 21 of of Quentin Moore. So let's take a look at what happened for to Chloe. She was running just ahead of Jacob Thibodeau in a zero car and the and behind the Actually Chloe was not the one that started the whole thing. It was the 72 and the 46 cars that apparently started it. John Andrews and uh, Paul Minnick got together. Then right there up ahead, Carter Freeson spun, got er, got turned over by the 87 car, James Henry. There's where Chloe and Nathan Hudson got together. Nine car of um of Austin Colano also involved, and Freeze is going almost in around on top of Colano's car. Sent everybody scrambling and trying to figure out, trying to play a game of where do I go when I get there. <clears throat> Several cars just, I don't know, just strewn all over the place. And then right there, oh, and Carter and uh, Quentin Moore got hit again, spun around. Through the third and fourth corners, and he gets hit, and he, he saw him get hit barely by the 27 car of Carter Friesen. So Quentin with a double whammy to kick things off for him and that 21 machine, the man who, as we mentioned, won at, Mil at Myrtle Beach Speedway this season. Quentin finds himself 34th at the moment. James Henry, you see him stands front end, as is uh, J J uh, Jackson Haywood, as is Ryan Brommer. He's also stands front end on that car. You basically see the V6 engines uh, already exposed now, as well as, uh, and no CR is not a new sponsor on these cars. They actually are the radiator, uh, the brands of radiators they run on these machines. Uh, machines. There's CR, of course, the official radiator of the NR competition, apparently. Um, and you see Jackson Haywood's car, as well as Ryan Brommer's. They look, they look almost a lot about like uh, NASCAR modified cars, pretty much. With the, um, they run on kind of, they're not full body cars, they run their chassis open, their cha their open wheel chassis, they, uh, uh, wheels exposed out, and you touch, the, you touch wheels on those things, you're pretty much gonna be in a world of trouble, without question, it's the same, as much like in, um, in indie car racing or F1 or whatever, but... And especially the open wheel dragsters on in drag racing as well. You touch wheels on those things, and you, things are really gonna are really gonna go wrong. Chloe runs out of the race as this lead by McIntyre. McIntyre's problem was a camshaft failure on the Roses Department Store's Buick, and so there's only two cars out of the race so far. Cole Deaver leads the race. Keith Batson, Jesse Turner, Seth Cole, and Joshua Osborne the top five as the green flag but flies again. Back underway at Indianapolis. Let's try this again. Ha <laughs> ha, look at the start Keith Batson got in the one car, the man who won at New Hampshire this season. Side by side, they go into turn number three. That's Batson in the four, Deaver in the Chevrolet, and Deaver's... 
touches the wall a little bit. Jesse Turner sideways. How did he not spin out? Is, is beyond me. And Deaver still on the wall as is Turner as they come off the second turn. Charles Samuel moving his way up through the field nicely. There's Shelton in the 11 car. She's also moving through there very well. On board with Jessica Shelton in number 11. Car camera right there behind Shelton, and that's the man right there. He's right there behind her. That's Kyle Matthews in 52. Matthews boards the throw and, and gets two drivers with one pat, uh, passes two drivers on one trailway. That's Shelton and Seth Cole both. So Matthews up to the top 10 for the moment in the 52 machine, but Shelton right there behind him in the 11. As they both gang up on Charles Hammer 08, he and Matthews getting very close to each other to come off the fourth turn. That was close, and somebody's on the pit road, apparently. And apparently, and apparently, yellow flags flown for the first for the second time today. It's Seth Cullen, in 32, apparently that has crashed. Keith Batson leads him back to the start finish line for the yellow flag with um, Cat Batson now second place. Let's see what happens here. Seth was running a seventh position when this all happened in the um, in the Nestle Crunch Pontiac. He gets off the wall, as a lot of people have been doing here in the first laps of the race. Here. They're going way too high, apparently. And this is what happened here. Cole Deaver and Jacob Thibodeau was also in this mix here. Thibodeau hits Seth Cole, and Deaver kind of uh, bulldozes him. Gene Sammer gets a piece of Seth's car. William Brock just missed him in the in the number um, four car, and Seth gets it back going and back underway. And there was the five car of Emmanuel Hartnett. He went to the inside. He apparently, obviously, had problems with the innkeeper Buick. Take a look at what happened to him, and he, he and Jesse Turner just got together. They were battling for fifth place, and Hartnett gets together, turns, gets turned around. Jesse turns him back around, almost into the 11 of Jessica Shelton, and Capshear just missed him as well in the 38, and then Hartnett gets into the wall on the inside of the racetrack here, and uh, didn't cost him much. He's only back to 14th position in the number five car. Paul Minnick is... Oh, lap down in 38 position. There you see him, the Paul Roy Chevy. Justin Dearborn, who started his race in 39, is up the 15th. Arthur Saber, 16th, 17th is William Brock. Then Johnny Gardner, Joshua Michaels, and Carson Gomes is up from 40th to 20th right now. This is where he's running right now. But up front at the moment is still Keith Batson. Second is Cat Batson in 20th. So husband wife Batson running first and second for the moment. Joshua Osborne's third. Fourth position right now, Jessica Shelton. Fifth is Jesse Turner. Kyle Matthews is sixth. Kev Shearer seventh. Eighth is Charles Samper. Ninth is Jacob Thibodeau. Tenth is Gene Samper in the 34 car. So the Samper family having a, so the Samper clan having a pretty good day so, pretty good night so far in Indianapolis. We'll see what happens as the race goes on. Cole Deaver's 11th, 12th right now is um, Dylan Young, 13th is Ryan George, 14th we mentioned is Hartnett, 15th is Justin Deere winning car, 15th, then Arthur Xavier, William Brock, Johnny Gardner, Joshua Michaels, and Carson on the top 20, then it's Jacob Sturgeon, Jeremiah DeWayne, Nathan Ormond, Julia Sanderson, Mitchell Collins, Austin Colano, Dustin Bowen, Bill Parker, and Sebastian Kukalon, and James Henry, the top 30. In this race so far, cars out of the race we mentioned, it's still Chloe Owen and um, Levi McIntyre, still the cars that are out of the race here, here as, are out of this race so far. So 
something tells me this is going to end up being another breakfast like it was at Hickory almost. I tested I tested the strike on the same in the same setup and it did very well. So Paul Mink is on the inside of the racetrack here, hoping to get his, one of his two laps back in the 46 car. He and he did. He is two laps down right now in 38th position. Keith Batson leads him down, and the nine lap cars can be a nuisance on the short track. So we'll see what happens here as the green flag flies again. We're back underway in the Kroger 250. And the Batson's way up high here. Osborne goes down to the low side. Four, one, up turn number four. You can't do that. And they pay the price for it. Unbelievable. Batson's in the crash. We saw damage on the Jessica Shelton car. She's involved. Joshua Osborne, he's got some damage in the 63 machine. He's the leader of the race right now. What in the world were they thinking? Take a look at this what happened. This is something you don't do on a short track, and especially not here at IRP. They got four wide off turn number four right there. They came on turn number four. Cat Batson just shoves Keith right into the wall, looks like. And then there's where everybody just piled right in. Cat Batson, Keith Batson, Kyle Matthews involved, Deaver's involved, Shelton's involved, William Brock, Carson Gum, Emmanuel Hartnett, Gene Sanders involved, damage to her machine, Ryan George. Everybody piles right in. What a mess. And it truthfully was a mess here at here at IRP. I I <clears throat> I have actually having thoughts of actually restarting this race and actually just doing this race again. I mean, this is absolutely a, this is absolutely a joke that's going on here today. But we had three, uh, all three of our in-car cameras involved in this whole deal. Let's take a ride with first with Dylan Young. On board with Jessica Shelton. <laughs> and from Kyle Matthews' perspective. So that basically was what all happened here at the, after this whole after the whole Holocaust happened on the front stretch here at Lucas Oil Raceway. I mean, 
and we are and we are on our I think our fourth caution flag of the day, and we are not even halfway through this race. This is end up being this end up being a wreck fest here, and I apologize to everybody for forcing y'all to watch this race. I mean, seriously, I am. But this will complete the 22nd lap of this 50 lap race here at, at, at Lucas Oil Raceway. Joshua Osborne leads. Second is Jesse Turner. Third is Kat Batson. Fourth is Cap Shear. Keith Batson fifth. Then it's <coughs> Charles Sanford, Jacob Thibodeau, Kyle Matthews, Cole Deaver, and Gene Sanford in the top 10. As the green flag flies, we're back. It will be back underway. On lap number 23, we will have third, we will have 28 laps to go here at Indianapolis. Last time we had a lap, last time we had a lap car in there, we had uh, pretty much a bad set of circumstances that happened off the sec off the fourth quarter. Osborne and Turner both off the wall. Let's see what happens off the fourth turn this time. By Nick's gonna pull ahead. Here comes Cat Batson to the low side. She'll take the lead from Osborne. <laughs> and it's the Batson's Cat on the inside. Keith on the outs. Cat on the inside, Keith right there hooked up with her. They go first and second at the moment. Jesse Turner goes to third position. Osborne's still at the track here as he as he and Kev Shearer both can't get, can't get off the wall and neither can Kyle Matthews in the 52. Fifteen car Justin Dearborn from his 39th starting position. He's given that car a, a good pass, a good run here. Manuel Hartnett just pretty much just shoves Kyle Matthews right out of the way in the 15 in the, in the in the 52 car, and he pretty much just says out of the way, Kyle. I'm racing here. It looks like the yellow flag's flown once again for the fifth time here today. And it's the I believe it's Ryan George in the 36 car. I think it's crashed. So a yellow flag for the fifth time here today. At Indianapolis, and the and it happened off the second turn. Sebastian Kukalon can get off the wall. Here comes the nine car of Austin Clone. He gets by. Thirty six car of Ryan George, though he looks low on the track. Kukalon thought he was clear, and then actually I don't know who caused that crash. Truthfully, if it was a thirty six or the eight, whichever whichever one did, but. Ryan George spins, and that pretty much was the whole deal. Cars out of the race again here, and now you now you can add William Brock and Carson Gum on the cars out of the race list. Amazingly, four cars out of the race out of race so far. Watkins Glen can't get any worse. I will guarantee you that. Watkins Glen is next on the tour, and I guarantee you it can't get any worse at that track. And that will be the final race on the road course this season, by the way. And actually, I think Watkins Glen actually is the only race on a road course for these cars, as a matter of fact. Cat Batson leads a green flag back out. We're back on the way in the Corridor 250. We're down to 20 laps to go. Cat Batson leads. Keith Batson in the second position. Keith goes to the low side, and he gets by. Cat is he going to turn number three? Keith goes to the low side of the track of Paul Minnick as he goes to turn off to number four. Jesse turns in the second position. Here comes Cab Shear to the low side of Charles Sammer gets by him. Osborne gets into it in the 63 machine. And we're back under caution for the sixth time here today. And I believe it's Sebastian Kukalon that crashed this time in the eight car. And he and, and he and the nine car of Austin Connor got together and got hit by the 60 car of Nathan Hudson. So that's what happened there, and we are pretty much gonna fly through the right place because I mean I ain't got time to freaking show you what all happened and what all everything, so. 
I'm gonna get chewed out by everybody who who watched this race. Forty-six car Palmenic is back in the lead lap, by the way, and and is they're damaged up and all in that Polaroid Chevy. So no lap cars this time to uh, cause any havoc. I don't think. Fourteen to go this time by here at Lucas Oil Raceway. Keith Batson leads the race. We're back underway in the Kroger 250. Jesse Turner second. Er, Cat Batson third. Keith is the one leading the race. Charles Sanford, Kev Shearer, and Joshua Osborne. Jacob Thibodeau, and and here comes the 99 car. Jesse Turner. He takes the lead from Keith Batson. who gets a, got off the wall. Of turn number two. Now everybody's going to get off the wall on the outside lane. Here comes Shearer on the outside of the track. Oh no. And Cat Batson and Charles Ember both crash. And that is our seventh caution of the day of this 50 lap race. Ryan Brommer avoids the crash and saves it. Should have known when they got three wide off that fourth turn. It was the same deal. And there's what happened. Jeremiah Dwayne was the one that gave that was the one that gave the Batsons a hit. So Cat Batson and Jeremiah Dwayne both out of the race here at at, um, at Lucas Oil Raceway. Jesse Turner leads the race still. Keith Batson second, third is. Kev Shearer, Justin Dearborn's now at the fourth. Jacob, Jacob Thibodeau's fifth. Sixth position right now is Emmanuel Hartnett, then Dylan Young, Joshua Osborne, Joshua Michaels, and Johnny Gardner, the top ten. Averaging a dismal 52 miles an hour here in this race. And I think that, I don't know if it's our seventh question or maybe six. I don't, actually I don't know. I lost count after about two, so whatever. Off turn number four, they come. Jesse Turner leads the green flag back out with seven laps to go on lap number 44. Who crashes and who doesn't? That's all I'm going to say here. Jacob Timida, or, or Oh, here goes the battle for the lead. Jesse Turner and Kev Shear. Shear to the low side. He'll take the lead. So Kev Shear, after starting, restarting third, he gets up the, gets up the first. Caution number eight now out. And it's Nathan Orman who who spun this time as he and Cole Deer are battling it out. Orman got the wall. And then he got turned around by Jackson Haywood. And Orman gets into the wall, off spins around on the back stretch. And then got hit by Kyle Matthews, and that pretty much ended Matthews' day. On board with Kyle Matthews. Another reason for Kyle Mendes, Mendes to hate Nathan Ormond after that. And there's another deal that happened on the front on the front stretch. Okay, so now what happened? And somebody turned the 59 car look like. Uh, Nope, somebody turned Johnny Gardner and Quentin Moore around. Gardner got turned by Arthur Xavier. There goes everybody else. And Quentin Moore.
Got by Gardner, gets into Dustin Boland, and then gets tangled up with the 59 of Ryan Brommer. So pace car looks up on the pit road. We're gonna we're gonna green gonna, gonna, gonna green flag finish amazingly after a caution filled race. Ormond, Matthews, and Carter Friesen all crashed out of this race. Can Kepshire hold them all off, or will Jesse Turner or Keith Batson get by for the win? Jacob Thibodeau's in fourth. Hartnick, Dearborn, Dylan Young. Osborne, Mac Michaels, and Xavier, the top 10. Green flag, green and white flags. Both way, we're underway. Final lap here in the Kroger 250 in this in this demolition derby in Indianapolis. All turn number two to come. Jesse Turner comes to the inside of Matt of Shear for the lead. They go to the inside lane, see what happens here. Shear up the high side. And Turner both gets off the wall off the fourth turn they come. And Shear's going to come out with a lead, and Kev Shear wins the, the Kroger 250 here at Indianapolis. 51.602 miles an hour, the average speed here in this race. And Kev Shear survives the carnage, the melee, the crashes, the blow-ups, everything that can go wrong, that, everything that could go wrong that did go wrong. In this race, so race number 18 ends up as almost as big of a lull fest as Rockingham did way back in race two. But what well, can I can say? Capture is the survivor of the day. Jesse Turner second, Keith Batson third, Emmanuel Harden comes home fourth, Jacob Thibodeau fifth, Dylan Young sixth, seventh was Justin Dearborn, eighth was Joshua Michaels, Arthur Xavier ninth, and Joshua Osborne tenth. Mitchell Collins comes home on 11th. Jacob Sturgeon, Dustin Bowen, Johnny Gardner, Dust Quentin Moore, the top 15. Then Phil Parker was 16th. Then Jackson Haywood, Cole Deaver, Ryan Brommer, Gene Sanford, the top 20. Seth Cole, Charles Sammer, Ryan George, James Henry, Julius Anderson, John Andrews, Paul Minnick, Austin Colano, Nathan Hudson, and Sebastian Kukula in the top 30. The only 30 cars that were on the lead lap, amazingly enough. And Jessica Sheldon was the only car a lap was the only was the last car to finish. She was a lap down in thirty first. Out of the race, Kyle Matthews, Carter Friesen, Nathan Orman, the Cat Batson, Jeremiah Dwayne, William Brock, Carson Gunn, Chloe Owen, and Levi McIntyre all out of the race out of this race. <clears throat> that will do it at Lucas Oil Raceway. Congratulations again to Capture, the winner of the Dimlinch and Derby. I mean the Kroger two fifty in Indianapolis <laughs> at Lucas Oil Raceway. Please, and please check out the NSA Race Sports and Gaming channel here. If you like what you see here, if you like or don't like what you see here, even if you don't like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to this channel anyway. I don't care. There's three other series that, that, are, that are being done on this channel that's way better anyway than my anything I do. That and that those series being the the <coughs> being um, Michael and Roman's Bowers are all pro series, Seth and Seth Cole's Paramount Pedigree Xfinity series, and Seth Cole's Duracell Cup series. Which will be coming up for season three, by the way, three or four, whichever it is, and uh, and of course also uh, there's a, another better series than the one I got on Thrash Man 899 channel. It's the industry of Marvel Studios Cup series. Be sure to subscribe to that channel as well. Both channels have terrific stuff, and please check it all out. We got interviews, we got gaming videos, we got we got in our online videos, whatever Seth Cole desires for his channel. Anyway, that was good day. Hey, look at the raceway. We're going to walk in the next. This is James Cole from production of the NFC, right? Off and racing at its best. I'm out of here. Screw everything about this about this IRP race. <laughs>